There's something about mining that just speaks to the soul. Orbound, the latest release by Emberforge Games, take the Dwarven theme to the heart. Imagine Satisfactory meets a fantasy, a game where you don your pickaxe as a stoot, beard dwarf on a royal quest. But does this early access gem sparkle or is it just another rock in the rough? Today we are diving into Orbound, covering everything from its voxel based open world to the ambitious base building mechanic. We'll hit the highs, dig through the lows and help you decide if this adventure is worth unearthing. So, what does Orbound do well? For starters, it knows how to make mining feel like a true Dorvan endeavor. You're tasked with finding the legendary Emberstone by digging deep into the prestigiously generated mountains. And it's not just any mining setup. No, you're building full automation chains, conveyor belts, and smelters. The game channels some satisfactory vibes but add a nice rustic twist to it. And then there's the progression system. Orbound keeps it straightforward and accessible. With a tire based upgrade system, gather resources, complete quests for Dorven coins, and unlock better tools and equipment to dig deeper and build grander structures. The quest board acts as a helpful guide, showing you exactly what to prioritize and giving you those satisfying little coins to get you moving forward. Orban isn't all just tunnels and ores either. Above ground, you'll find biomes packed with unique resources, herbs for potions, wood for crafting, and occasionally creatures to battle. This balance between underground mining and above ground exploration gives the gameplay a welcome sense of variety. But not all that glitters is gold, my friends. Orbound might hit some notes with its charming visuals, but its early access rough edges are hard to ignore. Building in Orbound, whew, let's just say it's more of a headache than a hero's journey. The snapping system feels finicky at the best, and the uneven terrain can make even simple builds an ordeal. Then there's the UI, which, well, could use some Dorvan magic itself. It's rudimentary and often feels like it's working against you. Add in the occasional word grid issues, and even crafting basics can feel like wrestling a dragon. Another rocky patch, the enemy AI. While it's great to have creatures to battle, these baddies pop up out of nowhere and seem to defy the laws of physics. Enemy climbs up walls, pop into your base, and honestly, can get really annoying, especially when they feel unbalanced or buggy. So, is or bound worth picking up in early access state? Here's the breakdown. If you are in it for the vibes, chunky voxel based graphics, dwarven adventure, and the thrill of automation, there's a plenty here to enjoy. And you'll get several hours of gameplay tinkering with setups and exploring the vibe. Emberforge Games has clearly put effort into making this satisfying fantasy meets factory experience. But if you are hoping for a polished, flawless gameplay loop, Orban still has some mountains to move. The rough edges on building combat and UI are noticeable. While it's fun, it's clear that this title still has a lot of development to go before it's a true gem. Plus, at 25 bucks, it might be wise to wait until some of these issues are ironed out. That's it. Orbound has a solid foundation, and if the devs keep at it, this could turn into something truly special. So are you ready to dig in? or maybe wait for the mountain to smooth out a little. Either way, Orbound has put itself on the map, even if it's still a little rough around its edges. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more gaming reviews and previews and gameplays like this. And as always, happy mining and happy gaming. My name is Ebola, until the next video, peace.